hey guys welcome back or to me and my channel right now you guys are propped up on my really lumpy makeup bag so that is why it is a little bit lopsided anyways while i have you guys here we're gonna do a super speedy life update first of all let's just start with all the bad news first all the big bad news first there was a hurricane that hit Atlantic Canada. It was the biggest hurricane in Canadian history, I'm pretty sure. Hurricane Fiona. It was awful because we lost power for literally a week, seven days. Second horrible thing, I literally almost died. Not joking. Um, on the way to my old university because we were going to see if there was power there and if I could go work there and charge my phone spoiler alert there wasn't um the traffic lights weren't working so my dad's like right of way to go like every single other car stopped and this other car like came flying as soon as my dad started like going and was like this close to hitting us I really don't know why mercury retrograde was trying to murder me but like thank god i'm still here as Nicki minaj would say I'm out here living. Next one is I had to cancel my trip to Montreal. I would have been leaving on Thursday this week, so the 6th, but I canceled it because I didn't know when I was getting power back. Um, and I had until Thursday of last week to cancel the hotel or else I would have had to pay like a thousand dollars for it. And I was just like, if I don't know for a fact that um, I'm gonna have power and be able to like organize stuff before I leave and like ready um go out and get the stuff that I need before my trip I'm just like not gonna go but my flight was non-refundable I'm like over it now I was really upset about it before because I was like I feel like somebody is trying to sabotage me because every time I try to do something it gets cancelled I tried to see little Nas X that didn't work out I tried to move out like three times that didn't work out I tried to go to Montreal for a fun little solo trip. That didn't work out. Another one. I got scammed on Depop. I bought this super cute jacket. Super excited for it. Paid like $90 e-transferred her. And usually I don't have a problem with e-transferring people. But this girl was shady. I bought it on August 25th. Can't blame this on Mercury Retrograde. But I'm gonna find a way. And I'm like 100% sure she didn't send it. I was like, if you were a good person, you would refund me. But considering that you're acting super shady, I don't see that happening. So I was like, I hope you don't do this to someone else. And I reported her account like a bunch of times. So I'm out like $600. So life has been good, as you can tell. I did my nails. These are like some of my least favorite nails that I've done on myself. I don't know why. The vibe just isn't vibing, but whatever. <laughs> Hey guys a super exciting package came in for me today i really have been wanting airpods and they were going to be my gift to myself for getting my first big girl job then i decided i'm not going to do that because it's irresponsible and then i had to cancel my trip to montreal and then i decided let me be irresponsible i got them open box just because i saved 80 dollars that way when i bought these like i said i saved 80 dollars the next day it was 120 dollars off so i was like okay I think in videos they look a lot bigger than they are they do clink though, like how people said they do that, but like, do I really care? Not really. I think the noise canceling, yeah, the noise canceling mode is on right now, so I can barely hear myself talk, but once you take, wow, once you turn that off, you can hear yourself really well. But See, obviously I didn't buy these because they are great headphones or like yada yada yada. I bought them for the vibe and the vibe only, so if you want to review I'm the wrong person to ask. But if you want me to slay and style them, I'm the right person to ask. I'm going thrifting today, which is super exciting because last time I went thrifting, it wasn't that great. It was like, it was still September or something. So the fall stuff wasn't out yet, which was annoying because like I didn't want to thrift for summer. So now it's October something and the fall stuff better be out but i'm not going until around six or something because that's when i'm off work i never go thrifting that late ever i've literally only been here for maybe 20 minutes so really good so far
guys a thrift haul because honestly this is probably the best thrifting i've done i think ever quick little update my cartilage piercing i finally just took it out i took it out because i was going to switch it into a ring and then the ring didn't fit because i'm pretty sure it's infected because i got it done with a piercing gun from clears claire's i don't know why i said it like that really everybody says don't go to claire's to get piercings and don't get anything besides your lobes pierced with a piercing gun and i thought i'm special though turns out literally no i'm not anyways let's get on to the thrift haul a couple of stuff here and then my two main girlies first is literally my favorite thing in the haul it's this gorgeous red leather jacket 13 dollars like what usually leather jackets at um valley village are at minimum 23 dollars so i think whoever priced this priced it wrong by accident but who cares you did me a favor gorgeous this is the varsity jacket you guys saw in the video i was torn between this one and a sort of more traditional leather jacket but these are just way more my vibe and i thought this was super unique looking i got this cute bag Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. It's plain black on the back. Brown is everything. Next, I'm gonna do bottoms. I actually got these jeans for my sister because they're marked as a size nine, so I figured that would fit her. But she tried them on and they didn't fit her. And I tried them on and they fit me, so that's super weird. But they're from the brand Hot Kiss and I love this little lipstick patch right here and i found this denim black mini skirt this was actually something i found on my way out like i went to the skirt section like probably four times looked at stuff couldn't find anything and then the last time it's because i was actually putting something back and then i just came across this and i think this is so stunning i love this and it's super comfortable too next we have this like leathery brown vest this super cute button up that i found i love the little silk collar detail and it's a bit oversized it's just like green tiger print and i got this really really pretty top it's inside out right now but it doesn't really make a difference from the intimate section and it's from Lucenza lingerie and i think this is probably one of the prettiest things i've ever bought and this shows that i've been sleeping on the intimate section because like if you just want mesh tops just go look in there and the last thing i got was just this basic cream sweater you can just never go wrong with a nice knitted sweater especially in a color like this and it is super comfortable so these are the cookies that i got this is from walmart and then this is from sobeys and then we got the cinnamon spice ones but i'm going to be making these two and i saw something on pinterest that i'm going to recreate take the sugar cookie dough you cut it up and then you put these little ghost cookies or she has the pumpkin ones on top of it so it's like double the cookie 